What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you guys are watching this, alright, I am about to show you guys, hold on, What is up? Nice, what's up my what's up tribes? What's going on? Welcome to the live stream. Alright. Charging my phone guys, so you guys right. Here we go. Gritty Jr. and Rich Vibes. I'm about to help out your team out, so here we go. That's gonna be crazy. And you guys all know that I'm a Penguins fan, but I want to do this because, I don't know, I just want to see how I would do, and I want to see how Jari does by himself in this game, so, yep, can't wait, I'm gonna hope the black and orange team, the Flyers, let's see how we can do, me and if that dude right there, you see him, Carter Hart, if he's playing with me, Let's see how we do together. And Travis Connect me, I'm expecting a lot from me, my man. <sighs> Trying to be locked in because this is gonna be a crazy matchup, guys. This is gonna be a crazy matchup. There I am. There has been so much talk about this young rookie Ray. What's going through his mind here before he does it for real on the ice? Well, by the time he gets to the point where he's about ready to step on the ice for the game, he's burned some energy already, James, in warm-up. But he's had time oh, to think. So, you know, he's nervous. He's excited. He's anticipating his big moment. But this is a blur. He's not going to remember any of it. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. Always a magical night. Opening night, the first of the regular season. Hockey's back, so are we, and this season is go. about to begin. The Blue Jackets get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. There's a chance in front, they score! What a play! What? Gets the puck in deep. 
The Flyers scoop it up along the boards. Taken along the wall by Couturier. Shot! And that goes off a player in front. And he takes a shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And in this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless, misses the net. Moves it quickly! Huge steal at his own end. Columbus takes it across the line. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Goudreau's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick, and he lost possession. First, Lickens freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. The Flyers have had their opportunities here in this first period, but they still trail. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. Walker's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Provorov's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Provorov got two minutes for tripping his ex-former team. Whoa. Philadelphia sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Taken by Lawton. The Blue Jackets get a hold of it. As a rookie, all you want to do is get that first one and get on the board. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Here's a short pass to Frost. Iceberg's made a nice save early in the game. That's got to settle the nerves, James. I mean, the rookie makes this stop, and you can kind of see him smiling. And the puck clears the zone. Great pass from off the right side. The Flyers played along the boards. Fantastic save! Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Sends it in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Great forecheck by Lawton. Slides the puck over to Oh, he got hammered and looks at this piece. He's on his own bench. At least you can take your time getting up when it's your own bench, James. Yeah, that's more. I'd be way happier landing on this one than the opposition. Well, they have the lead and now they've taken a penalty. So now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be the task. Philadelphia is ready to go to work with a two-man advantage. Playing with a two-player advantage on the five-on-three is such an opportunity. But you have to have a sense of urgency that goes along with it. You don't want to be stuck. You do want to force the coverage to have to move a little bit. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Directs it on over to Konechny. Fires it on net. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage. I run three for I think it's his turn. And off the draw they win possession. From one point man to another. <laughs> Look who's on the board. That's his first carry. For an effective power play, you have to move the puck around with precision and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice and that's how they get the goal. Corrales ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Columbus will go to work as they win the draw. Gets the puck in deep. Philadelphia's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Paraby. And he slides it quickly to Kennedy. Receives the pass. Pokes it away in his own end. Lawton's ready for the draw on this man advantage.
The Blue Jackets take possession off the faceoff. And the puck leaves the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. And it's a quick pass to Lawton. There he is on the backhand. Made the stop on that play. Oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. And that's blocked from someone in front. Right up Main Street and on the attack. What's up, my and he homie? Takes the feed. Scooped up along the wall by Atkinson. Columbus gains possession on oh, the nothing much not being issues. Just and they send it down trying the Trying to help ice. out Rich well, Vibes and Gritty Jr.'s team. Uh, Now's the time. Flyers. They don't have the luxury of time, Playing James. Goalie, they have though. to be urgent and get the puck up ice. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Yeah. Lawton's battling for position in front of the net, creating a screen. Score! Scott locked in. Just like that, he likes the lamp. Guys, one of those players nice. that can do it all in all three zones, and now he has 200 points under his belt, James. That's a great feat. Two goals in right around a minute 40. Quick response back to back here, and the team is humming. Yeah, and talk about putting your opponent on their heels. <laughs> the Flyers take the oh, one goal man. lead here in the first. Uh, and if I'm the coach, I'm telling them to keep going, be aggressive, stay on the puck, especially after you score a goal head goal. You got them back on their heels, you got to attack. Driving right to the front. Swoops at it with the club and oh, got just goodness. enough of it. Iceberg's able to deny that scoring chance right oh, oh, there. Come on. I was there at the right spot too. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We are oh. all tied up in this one. Line A's won it. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Goudreau. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Severson. Moves it to the middle. Moves it again. What shot. Scrum along the wall. Solid check to slow him down. Severson's got it in the defensive end. Moves it to Marchenko. Philadelphia's got possession here in the neutral zone. Into the attacking end. Ooh. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Flyers take possession in the defensive end. Quick pass to Goudreau. Unloads from the blue line. That's blocked. And it backs off a stick in traffic. Line is a true sniper, James, and he's already got two in the game, and you know he's looking for his third. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Mm. Now a quick pass to York. Handles the pass. Great time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you'll find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Blue Jackets start with the puck in the right end. Handles the puck. Moves it quickly over to Jenner. And he makes the easy save. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. No way for that shot to go through. Made the save on the play. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Pass saved by Merslikens. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. And earlier tonight, if you missed it, this is a moment that this kid won't ever forget, Cheryl. You can't forget it when it's your lifelong dream from when you're a child and it's all you envision playing your first NHL game and then you get to take the inaugural rookie lap, all of the veterans in behind you, you know, kind of the bated breath before you put your foot on the ice and you carve it in there and you skate around, the energy in the
the building. Everyone knows it's your first lap that's in the stands. They know you're a rookie. And I'm sure a lot of families are yeah. building as well to celebrate this lifelong dream. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. Oh, don't you care? Defensive pairing will change it up. Great poke by Jenner. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Faraby. And he slides it quickly to Couturier. Columbus gains a hold of possession. And now he moves it quickly to Goudreau. The Flyers gain possession. Konechny's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the pass from the left wing. Oh. To right through center and into the offensive zone. Scores! And three is the magic number as he picks up the hat trick. The hat trick for the first one this season, James. And they say that when a puck comes to it isn't just luck, he's all around it. And then you gotta do something with it. He buries it three times. Philadelphia's looking to even things up here in period number one oh. as they still trail despite out shooting the opposition. Moves it to line A. Wierenski stick handling in his own zone. Philadelphia's got the puck in their own end. The Flyers carry it along the wall. And he gets just enough to keep it out. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Columbus is trying to build on that one goal. Lion Ace won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Looking to set up offensively. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly pin right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Columbus extends the lead to two here in the first. They look like a team possessed so far out there. Yeah, they really do. I mean, I think they've been dominant in this first period so far, James. I mean, they got that first go-ahead goal, and then they were able to push even further and get a second. I think it's really critical that when you have your opponent down, you continue to push. wierenski has got the puck in his own zone. Columbus has it against the half wall. Wide. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Knocks the puck loose. Jenner's taking it from his own end. <laughs> Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Oh, and there's a great save by Merzlikens. Columbus has possession of it now. Severson has got it in the offensive zone. Scores! And they do it again and again and again. Uh, the coaches will be preaching, listen, have no mercy. Continue the pound and continue the beating because they are on a roll. James, we have to have another look at this goal. I mean, this is just a hard-working effort goal. Where you out battle and outwill your opponent. Why? You're stumbling, and while you're stumbling, your eyes still on the puck. You know exactly where you need to move it before you go down and you execute. And as a result, James, but it all starts with the pass. But how about the deep before the pass? I, I mean, drawing the coverage to yourself so that you can open the space to be able to distribute the puck, that's a beauty. Philadelphia's put a lot of pucks on net so far here in this first period, but they still find themselves trailing late. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. And now it's over to Johnson. Well, great read on the play. They score! And if they ever needed one, this was exactly the time! Well, they're just trying to get some momentum in position back in this game. So late, when you give up so many goals, James, you, you gotta figure that this is a step in the right direction, but what can they do with it now? They gotta build uh. before it's over. 
That's what you call having a knack for yeah, the net, James. When you right get position. inside, you're sniffing around. Like you that. better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Man, I haven't played goalie in a long time, but remember what they Officials did to the to movement the and everything on here? Back underway. Oh, I don't even care. I don't have a good stat on the players. At least. Here at I have my penguins being pro. And that's on the stick. <laughs> oh, fantastic stop there. Damn. Quick pass to Jenner. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Flyers gain control of the puck. Oh. And now they look to make something happen from the Ooh. neutral zone. Comes away. Oh, what? Uh, that just looked like indecisiveness there, Cheryl. Yeah, Who is that, GK? Who is that? Well, James, when you're in all alone, you have to know exactly what you want to do, and you have to okay. play with authority. Here's an off man rush. Scores! Uh, and here comes the shoot. boom as a Jenner. Great finish. We don't get many odd man rushes throughout the game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. here the official waves it off right away i think there's a kicking motion here and this could be confirmed by a review they're gonna go upstairs mm. the entire building erupts as the official comes back on the ice it's a disallowed goal and under further review it is deemed just that The Blue Jackets win the faceoff at center. Into the attacking area from the left side. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Philadelphia's got it in their own zone. Drives it to the crease. And he makes the save on that play. Passes on over to Line. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Moves it over to Atkinson. Slides the puck to Frost. The Blue Jackets have it from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Provorov. Sends it in on the attack. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. With some open space at center. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Good use of the body on the play. He grabs the puck here at the point. Feeds it over to Atkinson. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. This is embarrassing. Somehow, if somehow they catch up, that'd be great. Period number. Hold on, Gio, Bob, you want me to come to your party? Hold on. Uh, it says you have a no longer party thing going on. Hold on, let me try again. Huh. That's weird. Two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Well, let's. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, what's up? If there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second, because it was one-sided to say the least in the first. I have no idea. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Yeah, I told Connor I wanted to try to see how I'd do with his team. Philadelphia is getting possession along the boards. Blue Jackets come out like they're a god team. Into the corner now. 
Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Feeds the puck to Couturier. And that's poked away. Gains the zone from the right side. Chance in front. Stop. 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 Jackets can do no wrong this evening, especially in the offensive zone here, Cheryl. Well, the score is a testament to the way they've been playing. I mean, they've been dominating in the offensive zone. They've had the puck on their stick. They're driving play, but they've been really urgent, even with the lead here. A great game for them so far. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Here's a blast, and that's blocked away. And that's a smart heads-up play by Farabee. Here's a short pass to Konechny. To the front! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Merzlikens! The Flyers have been generating a lot of pucks on net, but they still trail here in the second. Off the face off, they take the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a shot! And he scores! The one with that one is quite generous. has continued to find the back of the net all night here and only in the second period, Cheryl. They've been fantastic, James. I mean, they've been electric all night long, really potent offensively. They're going to have to keep their heads up, though. You've got an opponent that's frustrated when you're looking to hit. Makes his presence known on the ice. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Quick feed to Johnson. Therapy. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Moves it to York. Fires it. Scores! And a huge goal to pick themselves up off the canvas. Well, my old coach used to say to me, you gotta stop the bleeding, and that's exactly what they've done, but now they gotta find a way to do something with it. I mean, they have been manhandled this game. has been outworked all night long, but they finally got something they can push back with now. Yeah, they've got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one. And that's going to start with some hard work, the good old intangibles, and the feeling that they can get back in. And it all starts with execution, though, James. And you have to play physical. The Flyers move the puck in the defensive zone. The Blue Jackets take over on possession. And they keep the pressure on. And he slides it quickly to Line. Takes the puck at the point. Pass back to the point. Moves the puck. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And he can't hang on after that hit. Quick pass to Walker. Philadelphia is looking to break out. Walker's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Takes the feed. Feeding steam here on the attack. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes out the stick. The Flyers will play it in their own end. And now he tries to get it across to Atkinson. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Let's it go. Stopped by the goaltender. The Blue Jackets will play it from the defensive zone. Shot. What a chance but can't well, you got to make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Just a little too much contact and couldn't Hold hang on to the still my chat. Should I try Carolyn it again? Because right now I'm on the bench the right now. Because, yeah. Uh, the Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, and an even bigger save on the slapper. That was just crazy. Takes that pass back at the point. Philadelphia's got it now. Oh. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And this one has really put the pressure on now. And yeah, right in front of me, the twig broke. And that's 
poked away by Stahl. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. And it's a quick pass to Roslovic. And they cough it up at center. And now it's grabbed by Ristolainen. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Blue Jackets have been handed two for interference. I expect that they're going to go back to the umbrella formation, James. They had success earlier on it on the power play with three up high trying to move the coverage. Hey, for everyone who wants to draw it up, it's exactly what it looks like, the top of an umbrella. And then you're getting the coverage to move around, and then you can use those cross-seam passes and you can see down the for a shot heck? as well. And that's knocked away by Texier. They are swept around like bees here in the ozone. Oh, the my save. God. Someone, how, are, how are these Blue Jackets playing so good? And nice play, short handed mm -hmm. as they get control of the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Mm -hmm. Sends it quickly to Sanheim. Slides the puck over. Slides it back to the blue line. Too much traffic in nice. the lane. Merzlikens with an impressive highlight reel save, James. And this is exactly what his team needed. You're under siege, you're under attack. You need a timely save to settle you in and find a way to get going north. Hooked away in the offensive zone by Texier. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Denies him in close. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Ooh, nice launching. And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that that's what the teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one, picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, he looks frustrated now, James, knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Philadelphia's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're going to have to build on top of it if they want to really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. Uses the force on that hit. Philadelphia's gained the line and into the zone. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. find a way to break on through they've had plenty of shots on net and yet they trail here in period number two Johnson's won the draw deep in the defensive zone the Blue Jackets have it now Columbus on the attack and he's able to handle that one and they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up both centers ready to take the draw here coming up Philadelphia is going to start with the puck in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed up ahead. Johnson shot. Nice save from point blank range. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square the shooter to be able to make that club save. And they win the draw here in their own end. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Philadelphia's across the blue line. Takes a shot. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. I think I'm just going to start this one over. What are you playing right now, Geobob? Mm.
I thought he could have been better in certain elements. I, I would agree with that. But I would also say that he still got the win. Now, I think his team certainly helped him out in that one, delivering the two points and the victory. But hey, that's a nice little confidence builder for a young goaltender in their first NHL game. He got the W. That's a good start. And in, ultimately, in a team sport, you play to win the game, right? Right? Didn't we hear that somewhere once before? Come on, you play to win the game. Simple as that. Time for a quick break. We got much more in a moment. All right, post game show continues. Sabalski here with you. And when you look back at a young player and their development, moments like we saw. <sighs> did not mean for that to happen, Rich Fives. Did not mean for that to happen. Ian Gritty Jr. I did not mean for that to happen. But apparently, I was in the right areas. But. The puck, I don't know, I was playing, I don't know why the game wanted me to look like Jari in the crease. So I had to quit that game. Like, go. Uh, I just cannot take that one. Even though they did say I did get the win, but that's embarrassing though. The stats up there are embarrassing. All right. And Connor, if you have not seen my new HUD team yet, let's just say I got somebody so awesome on my team. Okay, I got 400. Nice. Here's my first line. <sighs> no one. How much is it to upgrade this? Air info upgrades. Oh god. Wait, two power collectibles? Let me see. Oh, I only have one. Mm. Jeez, Yager, you're super expensive up here. Dang. Oh, it is not go up to 96. That's crazy. That would be sick. Yeah, and this is who I got yesterday. Let me see how much to get Flurry up there. Ooh, 10,000, 15,000. So I could make him in that. Yeah, he only goes up to 86, though. Ugh. Oh, yeah. If I put anybody else in, probably this live moment, cut a heart. <laughs> and then I got two of the best buddies right here. Changes because I'm trying to save up my coins for. I mean, I know I already got Yager, that's only the good thing. But look at this I feel like if there's another, if there's another playoff card thing, I feel like this playoff mix pack would be a really good one. So that's why I'm trying to save that up for that. Oh, nice. Let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got Sam Lafferty. <laughs> And that happens every day when you get on here. Wait. Tip is. Mm hmm. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. This just Gresky, okay. And he's only a 77 overall team, look at that. How did you get Wayne freaking Gresky and Okay. I'll be able to beat him with with my HUD team? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if he does score in this game, you'll see the card, but yeah. him this card. Oh, I thought he was going to be beat, and he somehow got a piece of that. The nice one again. What a great job of trapping the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Columbus has the puck. Good. 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 carrying it ahead. Got one of the moves. Monster blocker stopped by Chari. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. Center and feed. And he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Here's a short pass to Wiener. And he's knocked off the puck there. Puck picked up by McDavid. Nasher got it against the boards. Grabbed along the boards by McDavid. Quick feed to Carlson. Here's a chance. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Moves the puck across to Connor. Slides it diagonally to the guard. McCars lugging the puck. Slides it across to Sabinashad. Picked up along the wall by Megna. Puts it on there, and he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Angles it over to Petrie. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. Big slides, come on. From the place 99 made famous. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. From center, they get into the attacking area. Quick shot. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hurdle. Moves it to Skinner. The Penguins have it now. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Quick stop! Clips and a hand on for a whistle. Past the midway mark in this period. We're still scoreless. Columbus has won the face-off here in their own end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. He got all that hit. 
The Penguins have the puck now. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like they got a tripping penalty on the way. Here comes the call. Oh, uh, coaches hate tricking. trick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing and you wind up in the box. Oh, the great one's not happy. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, the first time I've ever seen him do that. That's crazy. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Oh, he hammered him. Uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. On the attack along the boards. Skates to the crease. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. <laughs> Look at this Yager hit. Oh, and he smashed his bucket too. Let's go. <laughs> Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face Let's off. Let's go. Columbus takes possession off the draw. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Columbus plays it along the boards. Shot! And that's deflected off someone in front. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Here's a shot. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Here, oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. They've really got him on their heels here now. out of the box he owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit well the pk does a great job and when you kill a penalty you create momentum great start there and too much traffic in front blocks that one the penguins gain possession hurdles got it in the defensive end great stick work with the steal takes a shot sails over the net gives a nothing in front you have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Connor's got it to the side. Tripping the stop by Chari. Shot. Oh, at the buzzer of big save. That's it for period number one. Second period action Kristen coming up. Jory, in let's see what kind of save he's going. Whoa! Now that's a spectacular save right there. That was a great save by Tristan Jory. Mm -hmm. Crosby, I think, on Crosby. Oh, yeah, he has Crosby. That's funny. Him as a blue jacket. Ugh. Fires it on net, and he makes the save. Yager is moving the puck through his own zone. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Columbus has possession of the puck. Great read in the offensive zone by Crosby. Quick pass to Thompson. Mm -hmm. Here's a chance. Turned aside with a glove by Jari. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Columbus gains a hold of possession. And all alone on the breakaway. Scores! 
Colts. and get in on the breakaway, James, and that momentum, it carries right through on his shot, and he puts it home. Columbus goes up by one here in the second. I like their jump and their step now. I like their jump and their step, and they got to keep it going here because I expect a pushback from their opponent. This is a highly contested game, James, and I think it's going to be tight right down the wire. Make the stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Wiener. Ref, he better call that a good goal. Hang on there, James. I think they waved this off immediately. This goal is not going to count. It's a bandage ad. Why did you do that? Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are nope. ready to get play back no underway. Bedard's won the draw at center. Here's a short pass to Wiener. <laughs> The Penguins gain possession. Here's a shot. Oh, and it comes up with a big stop there. The Foxes take it along the wing. They put the puck into the offensive end. Quick feed to Konechny. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Fires it. Nothing doing. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. No. And a solid save there as we play on. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And look at this. Let's go, Thomas Hurdle. Let's go. And tucks it in for the goal. 20th goal for him for this season on my HUD team. Assisted by TK and well, I really Zell. like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, Blake? though. That one got kicked yeah, right back out. It was a blue check. Here really. in the back half of this period, we got a tie game. Columbus takes a hold yeah. of the puck in the neutral zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Panarin. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. Tries to feed it over to Crosby. Through center along the wing. Takes the feed. That's gloved by Jari. Moves it on over to Matthews. Takes it from the right side. Shot. Uh -uh. That's blocked away. Matthews, come Quick's on. Quick's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots. And he's... Scores! The <laughs> goal puts them in front. Nathan uh, McKinnon. This is what's ready to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck with the incentive and upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. It's good, Nathan. Great hand-eye coordination to nice be able to tie that move. and tap it down. The Penguins are in the driver's seat now with that one goal lead and timing, Cheryl. Late here in this period, that's huge. That's a huge booster for them, James, not only in terms of their confidence, but also the recognition of where they are heading into the intermission. Now it's about staying aggressive, but managing the puck. They need good blue line decisions. we got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within yes, reach. Evil. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. Oh, he's not at me. The power play unit Burry, goes right back to work. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Connor's got it along the wing. Takes a shot. Off target. Ooh. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Connor. Picks up the puck. There's a chance in front! Oh, nice, y'all. Go, go, go! Yes! 
Get a chance to uh, catch their breath and All get right. ready One for a period. big third period next. Uh, oh, you're being a Toronto team five nothing. Good job. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now. Play. How do you view this one? Columbus has been behind the play My most of this game, which means they're chasing it, James. I mean, they haven't been urging, and their foot speed really slow. They really have to rethink how they've come into this third period. They have to make some adjustments and really look to attack if they want to get back in this game. That's a good nice heads up play at center ice. Into the corner of the attacking area. Oh, that guy's a big one, Jack. 23. Mm. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick be heavy on it. With it on the ice, battling to compete for it. He does it, he buries nice. it. Columbus wins the draw in the neutral zone. Hughes takes it into the offensive zone. Columbus has it in their own zone. Across the line, down the left wall. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Looks to make a play over to Hughes. With possession along the wall. Puck grabbed by Panarin. Moves it to Pilia. A chance of front. Touch it, you should be able to stop it, and then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Columbus has dramatically changed the look of this game here in the third. Uh, two good teams going head to head, and this is going to be a nail biter right to the finish. You can feel the energy after that goal, and well, who's going to change momentum now? The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Here they come on the attack. Puts it on there. Play based on where the puck is on that low winner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the balls, and makes a save. What pressure here on the offensive end. On the outside to Carlson. There's a collision. Carlos scores. Let's go, Carlos. That's his 31 in the season, goal. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. The Penguins 
continue to lead here in the third, listening to their coach's message. Lots of pucks on net. And they win that draw at center. Handles the pass at center. Columbus plays the puck along the boards. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Columbus with possession in their own zone. Puck scooped up by Skinner. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Makes the save. Scores! And they finish it on the ground. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and skip it out because he has great hand-eye coordination. He will pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Wants it to the middle! Let's see. What a finish on the play! Goaltenders spend so much time tracking pucks, anticipating plays, and knowing exactly where they are in the net. He thought he had this covered, but unfortunately, he was beat just inside the post. The Penguins have to be feeling good about the position they're in down the stretch now, Cheryl. I take a two-goal lead at the back half of the third period any day of the week, James. It's just about closing it out now, and that comes down to managing the puck and limiting any turnovers. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Here's a shot. Just got a piece of it to keep it out. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Moves around along the half wall. Quick shot. Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Quick. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Takes a shot. Passes it to McDavid. Shot! A quick save! Quick's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night, and he recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. The Penguins aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. The guards won the draw inside his own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Oh, oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. The fish will close the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Dobson's got the puck in his own zone. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Gets a piece of it to make the save. The Foxes really need a goal here. They've pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. The Penguins played along the wing. Oh, cuts it off the iron. Had the side of the net, but doesn't go. The Penguins...
Yeah, only good team. Well, not really good team, but is this lifesavers person, this polar bear, solar bears team. And then I have to face this Chicago dude and Rangers dude. Let me see this lifesavers dude. Do you mind? Oh my god. His first line's already like dominant. Barzell, Matthews, and team of the season, McDavid, but why is he playing on the left wing side? That does not make any sense. I would have Matthews on the wing side than McDavid. <laughs> Plus he has Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then he has Hosa, Jack Eichel, this card. That's a sick one. Yeah, 93. Then he has... Oh, the Hillary Knight. He has Hillary Knight. Gallery greats. Then there's... Yeah, that's even better. And then here's Brandon Point, Nijus, and Mitch Marner. That's not a bad line. Uh, tell me you have a Tyler Sagan card better than his. Well, he somehow got the style icon 90 overall Tyler Sagan card. And then he's got, yeah, and then his lowest is Nick Bonino, and then in Poland, Canada person, Morgan Riley, Seabrook, yep, Theodore, Carlson as a senator, he has Shabbat. And he still has the training camp, Makar. Oh, wow. Wow, I feel bad for you. His goalies are Sorokin. And then this Buffalo. Oh, Dominic Hoshik. That's a sick card of his. Nice. I like that. With the Buffalo logo like that, too. That is dope. All right. Let's see. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. Show me all his lines, because I, I want to see if I've faced that dude, because he sounds so OP, but... Hmm. That is crazy. Hi, everybody.
everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. These rosters are absolutely loaded. Filthy amount of talent. Let's see what's the score for this hunt matchup. Looks like the Warriors. I'm curious. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. Great yeah. night for hockey, and period number one is underway. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And that goes off a player. New York's got the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone, it goes to the middle. New York's got the puck against the wall. Blocked in traffic. The Penguins have it against the wall. Hughes looks around. Blocked him in the open ice. And she turns that one aside. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. The Rangers start with the puck at their own end. Now a quick pass to Niederreiter. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a chance! Stopped by the goaltender. Along the right wing, they into the attacking area. Knocked away. Oh, she's stopped! She was right there to make the save on that play. You can see the compete to her game as she's bobbing and weaving, trying to find this puck. She's oh, battling yeah. all of the traffic in front, and she finds it for the save. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Well, I want to have another look at that save, James. I mean, she was absolutely incredible. Found that puck exactly where she needed to be. Got there at the right moment, but it was all desperation. When you have that level of compete, you can't teach it. It's an intangible. And he gives it over to Tara Heinen. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Mm -hmm. Can't hang on after that hit. The Rangers ready to go on the attack. Just gets a piece of it to keep it alive. Goaltender spent so much time doing trapping exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the game is still scoreless. New York's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Denies him, he got all of it! Delayed penalty coming up here. Anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Bullardi's going off for interference. The Penguins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game, and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. New York's got it in their own zone. From the open ice, they gain the line. Hughes has got it along the wall. Oh, it's denied by Campbell. Hammers a shot, and she makes another save. She does a great job of controlling this puck and pushing it to the corner, and no second shot opportunities. Great rebound control. Oh, the home team is reeling here mm -hmm. inside the defensive zone. The fans are nervous. In all alone, on the breakaway. Oh, it just kind of muffles that one. Well, he muffles it because he's in tight, and when you're in tight, you run out of room, and you run out of option as well. you got to find a way to get the puck to the net. Scores! Here it is, a power play goal. Well, he just scored a 27 goal, and it was on the power play. Well, these below-the-goal line goals are so difficult to track, here, yeah. James. See, I mean, when the puck carrier is so below key. the goal line, everyone's turned, puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost betrayed. in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer, but just beats the goal still looking at the puck. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Penguins have taken a one nothing lead. Big-time collision, and look at that! to send a message, send it right over the board into the laps of your teammates. It's embarrassing either way, no question that you got off your feet and you wound up on your bench. And he denied him there. McDavid's got it on the offensive end. 
Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, she denies them again. They always say goaltenders have something special about him, and you have to want to be in that position to stand in front of a shot like this. She does it, and she makes the save. The Penguins have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. New York's got possession here in their own end. Slick feed. And he takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Niederreiter. And that carries off a body in traffic. Here's a short pass to Nasher. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Quick feed to Konechny. Here's a shot. Oh, and she comes up with the big time save after that cannon. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Hurdles on the attack in the offensive zone. Puts it on net. Denies him. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Oh, and there's a hit on the play. Skates with it. Great use of the stick at center by Chernak. Moves it to Kubik. Just wide. He really gets scores on the rebound and puts it home. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that Here in the lake, going to the frame. It's all tied up. New York's won the draw in the neutral zone. The Rangers played along the boards. Takes an off, but he's still got the puck. Oh, stuck by Chari. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time? You want to take space? Goaltender does it, makes the save. Choke, choke, choke. Centering key. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. And with the buzzer, that puts a bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Who I, who I kid really good because apparently I'm surprised the ref didn't call any interference on me. Mm-hmm. Let me check this. Yeah, Zub did this Zub did this nasty hit. Oh, God, that is crazy, Zub. Look at this angle I just did. You can see what he... That looked like almost cross-check right here, right? And look at that. Bam! Yeah, that's crazy, though. Is that crazy? Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. And a fun one so far, by his side, giving it in. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. New York's in a tie game, and really they're lucky they are, James, because their opponent has really taken it to them. Why? Because they've mismanaged the puck and they've had way too many turnovers. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. 
Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. They used their speed on this counterattack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. And now he moves it to DeBrus. Still has possession. Save made with the pad. You gotta love the way he plays. He sees any real estate at all. And he's gonna try and drive through it, James. I mean, he uses his stick. He uses body position to be able to gain space. But unfortunately, the goaltender reads him and makes the save. New York's got a hold of it along the wall. Meter Riders got the puck. The Penguins look to start the transition game. to Carlson. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Hard hit frees up the puck. Nasher's going to play it against the half wall. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Taken by Orlov. Gaining momentum up along the side. All alone! Get out on the breakaway. Oh, he came up clutch there. Well, he really did. At any time that you're one-on-one, -on -one, you got to beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Nylander's gain the line and on the attack. Shot! Too much congestion in front. Handles it along the blue line. And she gets just enough to keep it out. Jones has it along the boards. Moves it quickly over to the line. Jarvis opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. The Rangers really need to find a way to start finishing on some of these scoring chances because they trail here in the middle. New York's won the draw and they'll go to work. Just slide. The Penguins gain wrong. control of the puck against the wall. Taken here by Gensel. Comes up with a steal. Passes over to Velarde. That sucks. Takes a shot. Oh, misses the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able to put it on net. Hammers a shot. Oh, a clutch save. Here's a short pass to McKay. Oh, it just gets enough to keep it out. Great positioning by the defender. Shot. Great save by Campbell. With the blast. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Scooped up along the wall by Zaka. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Turn that one aside. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. The Penguins take possession here in the open ice. Gains the zone through the middle. The Penguins have it now. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Cutting to the front of the net. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. And less than a minute to go here in the middle frame. And she made the save there as play continues. Here's a shot. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Campbell's been terrific tonight, James. And that's what you need from your tender to be a difference maker. And she certainly has been that. She's turned away a high volume of shots. Her shooting percentage is through the roof. Now it's her team's turn to do their job in front of her. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Simply because they haven't managed oh, their puck. Yes. They force plays, which has created 
turnovers and they haven't been able to generate any offense at all. Moves it to her. Mm -hmm. And that's broken up. And a solid stop on the play there. Solid hit on the play and that knocks the puck off his stick. Made that stop. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be scared of the shooter, that's a great save. Just a smothering attack here in the offensive end. And listen to this play slide up. And the two come up with it in their own end. And finally, they get it out of their own end. And here they go in transition. Oh, what a stop on the play. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Rangers take it across the blue line. And he hangs on to the puck. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Takes the feed from the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. She this is the last line of defense here. I'm not sure where her DR, James, but she turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Nearing the midway mark of the period. <laughs> it's a 2-1 hockey game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Niederreiter. Moves into the slot and he makes the save. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Oh, yeah. Thomas Hurdle, man, he's on the roll with me. 21 blows. Mm-hmm. She isn't able to get to position as quickly as she wants to, and as a result, it just hits her and goes in. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. New York's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. On the right side, takes the pass. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Slides the puck to Carlson. The Penguins take it along the wall. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Oh, and a heads-up play to poke it away. That knocks him off the puck. New York's got the puck. Sense the momentum shift, James, and it's all about swinging and seeing if they can string a couple of good shifts together and get the equalizer. They've narrowed it on one. Oh, James, goalies get really angry about these ones. You have a defensive zone turnover. You could be out of your zone. Instead, the goalies cut out a position and the puck's in the back of your net. Moves it quickly over to Carolina. Tipped away. Nice pad saved by the goaltender. Here's a short pass to Hurdle. Carries it in. Puts it on net. And that doesn't reach the net. They go on the attack from the left side. Quick shot. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off the stick. Well, this game looks like it's going right down to the wire, James. And one of the most important things to do now is make sure you make good blue line decisions. The Penguins gain possession. Yeah. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the balances, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. The Penguins are now up by two here in the back half of this third period. Man, this is a good position to be in. Uh, it's the best position to be in, and you don't want to give any life to your opponents. You have to make sure that you're pounding pucks. You're on them first. Listen, if you're forechecking, they don't get the puck. Attack. Takes the feed from his own end. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. Made the stop on that play. Works it across to Bushnevich. And he takes the pass. Takes it to the net. Oh, and he can't bury that one. Well, you don't give any opportunities like this in the game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. Dishes it to Ovechkin. Oh, we 
just shoot them scores from me. Let's go. Let's try another one. The Penguins probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, yeah, no what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency's always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Here's a shot! Score! had two assists in this game, which is kind of funny. From the right side, they gain the zone. Feeds the puck over to Hughes. Yager swooping in on the attack. Oh, here's a shot. Oh, she was dialed in on that play. And that'll do it from right side here. Let's go. Kind of felt like they had the puck on a string here all night, Cheryl. Well, the analytics, I'll tell you, they did. They certainly held the number in possession time. Real effective at that. Sometimes it's what you do with it, though. But they proved to do the right things. I got so many objectives done. What's going on in your game? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they should believe in their teammates. But apparently, no, they had the puppy guard. Yeah, the Rangers dude who I was just facing, he kind of did that too. Who did? Let's go, dude. Alright guys, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are still watching my stream, make sure to click the like, subscribe, click on the bell, click on all, because now guess what we're about to do now? Even my best buddy, <laughs> you think this would be good if I get one of these packs? The one I want to get, the 40,000 one? Playoff mix pack? Alright. C40. Nash up five something thousand up. See this. Nope. One quarter of a time. Give me Raquel. Hmm. Ooh. Viala. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Dang. Yeah. We tried one pack, guys, and look at that. Oh, they said a greater chance of pulling the Stanley Cup player for week one, but <laughs> nope. That was a good try, though. Now, hmm. Let's see this pack. Hmm. Give me a turn. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> nice. about to face this uh, Chicago dude. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> well, I'm Trying to wait until I get in so I can see this. Yeah. Who's ready for some hot? Hi, everybody. James Sabalski. There we go. Let me pause it. Let me see what you screenshotted me. God. <laughs> the look of his face is like, who are you looking at? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> God, God. EA Sports, some of the best squads on the planet ready to collide on the ice. There's been a lot of chatter over the last 24 hours. That's a good pick of that. That was, that was good. It is time. We're underway. Makar's taking it from his own end. Crosby's got it in the offensive zone. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Huge steal in his own end. What overall was that Chicago team? Takes a shot. Oh, solid save by Chari. Um, you always have those players keep the play alive, and he's team. one of them. He just knows how to shift his pistol. Oh, Just that, and they 
elevate this crowd. The energy in the air is exciting. We're still in the early stages of this period. Chicago's up one zip. Across the line. And somehow he hangs on. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Oh, oh yeah. And he just got another assist. John, find a what way is to going continue on with this? To attack. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Imagine if Jory gets on the assist and the board, and I'll be like, bro, how? How is that even possible? Mm -hmm. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Zuccarello. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Chicago's got the puck against the half wall. And that goes off some scores! The goal! Chicago's taking a one-goal lead here in this opening stanza. How does this now change the complexity? Uh, I think the coach wants to manipulate their bench now that they have dictated pace, James. But if you're an elite athlete, you're always pushing for more. One certainly isn't enough. You don't have enough runway to sit back and say, hey, we're going to push this one in. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The trailing by one, and you take the penalty. Not the way to get back in the game. see that again that was beautiful Jake yeah watch it did redirect off him but watch this get a get so oh But with a beautiful, a beautiful pass that winds up in the back of the net. Minutes. And now it's grabbed by Johnson. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bedard. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. And sends it just out of reach. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. Streaking into the attacking zone to the right. Oh, what a close save by Curry. The Penguins pick up steam and are on the attack. Scrum along the wall. And that's a smart heads up play by Bedard. Drives to the page. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about 
with the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second-shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Stopped by the goaltender. Again, he it and no. it off the outside of the post. How did that not get in? Past the halfway. Um, let me show you this weird bounce the puck did after some, one of my players shot it. And I thought it would have went in. But somehow this dude... Let me see. He shot that? It was McCabe who shot this. See, it hit off the board that high. Almost to the netting. Let me get a good angle of this. Right here, yep. And then... Boing! Right there. Right on his pad. It landed right on it like this. And then he just decided to cover it up. That was close to being a weird goal. Mark of this period, that was tied to game two. To this 3 2 lead. Parsons gained possession, and his great work inside the face off circle pays off mm -hmm. again. Dumps the puck in. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. The Penguins will play from the defensive zone. They've got numbers here. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Scores all over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. Nice. Hey. Well, I like the effort and intangibles to their game tonight, James. I mean, it has been an uphill hey, battle as they found Rams themselves Davis, down up, in this up, game. The they continue to battle to chip away. They were urgent on the puck, and now they find themselves getting the equalizer. Yeah, no one's going to catch up to Carlson. He's almost easy. I think he's going to be my first player to the get 100 hold assists. The off the draw. And now he angles it across to Zuccarello. Play whistle dead offside the call. Does anybody have more 100 on your team with assists? Here in the late goings of the period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Pins gains possession at center ice. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Takes Ooh. it and looks ahead. The Penguins will play it against the wall. Ooh. So he needs, the feet he the back needs end. five more to win. The the to to nice. Puck Who's up by in Jones. goals? How many goals is Gaining anybody at 100 or 200? Broken Five. up in the neutral zone by Shabbat. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Quick pass to Hintz. Fires it on net. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. The Penguins with one last gasp before the period runs out. A centering chance! And that's intercepted! Beautiful read of the defensive end by Hintz. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back for period number two. seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Both teams looking for that go-ahead goal here as we get underway in the second, still tied. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Jari's been so impressive tonight, completely dialed in right from puck drop, cutting down his angles and making sure there's no second shot opportunities. But his team needs to get going in front of him. This game's tied because of him. And that's blocked in traffic. Kick it along the wall by Bedard. The Penguins have it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. And it can't connect as it's blocked in front. And it's picked up by the D. 
The Penguins have it against the wall. That's a solid check on the play. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Here he is with the backhander. Oh, wow, another great stop. Well, that shot came quick, and it was yeah. right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We are all tied up in this one. The Blackhawks win the draw. And he slides it quickly for Zuccarello. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Oh, yeah. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, to nice up with the paddle save. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. The Blackhawks come up with the defensive zone draw. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Gets a piece of it and will play on. And he takes the dish. And the save. Moves it quickly over to Hintz. My goodness, they are really starting to dial up the pressure here now. Passes it to Jones. Here's another feed. They score! Standing up on the bench, they know how much it means, but it's the Rippy. next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Chicago's push here in the second is paying off as they now lead by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push. Keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. Oh, he'll feel that one. Oh, and he whips on it. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Quick pass to Nylander. On the attack along the boards. Into the corner now. Here's a chance. Tremendous play for the team as he blocks it. The Penguins gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Wrist shot from the side. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it's intensity here in the offensive zone right across to Kachuk and finally they ease the pressure and they look to go the other way denies them in close Crosby's got it against the boards here's a chance oh the save of the play Whoa. he's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game James unbelievable save takes a hit on the play Chicago's moving it into the offensive end. Pumped off the puck. Feeds it to McCabe. Sends a pass over. The Penguins will play it from the corner. Here he is in close. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Handles the puck at the point. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. So this is how the team probably got in there though and they can Chicago's get another goal right now. The, the Penguins have it now. And here's the pass to Sabinashad. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Reaches out and uses the stick. Nice zone entry from the middle. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a shot! Big save right at the end! And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Welcome back to EM Sports, the final frame of this one. Here we go, we're underway in the third Everybody having fun getting on the offensive action. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Penguins are trailing in the game here, James, but there's 20 minutes of runway left, and they continue with like they did through the first 40 minutes, managing the puck, owning it the offensive zone. They will cash in on their opportunities. And that shot goes nowhere as the line was filled. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up and let it here. Start 
the finish line. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Quick pass across to Savinashad. Intercepted at center by Bedard. Chicago's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Here's a blast! Answers it with an even better save! Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out! Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Moves it to the middle! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Pushes it across to Savinashad. Sends the pass over. Chicago's got a lead in this game predominantly because of that second line and the offensive production that they've had in this game. There's a lot of motion. They're playing well. They've got good speed and they've been no really way. impressed with their That's performance. Right. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. There's the whistle. We got an offside. The Blackhawks have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Zuccarello. Fires it! Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a oh, clear message no. to his team that he's behind them. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Oh, up my foot. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zones. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. And he moves it up to Nylander. With possession along the wall. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Picked up along the boards by the shot. Puck grab by Carson. Here we go, on man rush. Denies it in front. And now he moves it quickly to Jones. Looks to get the puck over to Matthews. Intercepted. Into the attacking end. Great reach with the poke check. Passes it over to Matthews. McCarr's got it along the wing. And makes the save. Gets the puck over to tip it. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. The Penguins grab possession of the puck. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Chicago's gained oh, possession man. along the boards. Shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it and it stays out. Oh, what another beauty stop right there. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Chicago's coaches have to be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lose late in the third. Grabbed along the board by Savard. Shoots it. Oh, and the answer on that one. Oh, and that's put away in the offensive zone by the guard. Quick feed to Gensel. Moves around along the mm. half wall. Picked up along the boards by Savard. Bedard's picking up steam. Here they come on the attack. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Moves it to Crosby. How did he stop that one? How did he stop that one? I think the yard from the right stand here. That's a save. It's clearly out to the face-off dots here. So good, yard dude. Well, we're gonna have to do this to me. Chicago's won the face off deep in their own end. Mm. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Stop by the goaltender. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall.
just show a team that was just broken the opposition yeah. tonight. Yeah, and they were putting them on their heels, bearing them down, and that's why they got the power play opportunities, James. But you have to find a way to cash in and you get them, or the momentum can go the other way. They capitalized, the and they were attack. successful tonight. It's, they had more shots, apparently. I know I could beat this dude's team. I know I can. Just puppy goading and not trusting your goalie, that's just. Uh. That's just crazy. But I know what I know what plan I'm gonna do when I verse him again. Yes. Alright. Well, there goes 500 coins. But I think it's worth the. I think it's worth it, because <clears throat> I know I could do him. All right, now let me just see how many collectibles I have. Cal Connor, mm. Drew Bauer, or this. Seven. All right. Oh no! Do I want to get Cal Connor? Though? That's the only. Thing. Eighty-seven. Though I don't know who I would want to take out. I don't want to do that, but mm. I mean, this is from the NHL 94 anniversary, but <clears throat> do you guys think it's worth it for me to trade this dude in, even though I don't know really much about Jimmy Carson? Because he was way, way... He played way back then. You know what? Sorry. Sorry, Jimmy Carson, but I have to put you in this set. Because I don't know much about you, and I don't follow the Kings. Because, yeah. Don't. I just don't follow them. So now... I mean, I'm sorry for all, any... If there's any... If there's any Kings fans in my chat, sorry, I just don't know much about him because yeah I mean that was a great card that EA did give me but I know I don't know who else I'd want Stanley Cup and then let me see what these two things are two open packs did it give me two open packs Oh, wow. Let's see what they are. They're untradeable, too. Mm. Uh. Wait. Dominic Simone went down? That dude looks like he's wearing a penguin jersey. Drake. Oh, yeah, I know that dude. No way I get him. Nice. That shocks me. Why is Dominic Simone way down in... Oh, my. That kind of shocks me. He was really good as a penguin. He was. He was. Nick Letty. Hmm. That dude. Wait, did I just get my. Oh! <laughs> Ole Mata? Let's go! This dude doesn't have a picture shown. Hmm. Eh. 
Whoa. That's so cool. I got Holy Moto. The only thing is, if he was a higher overall, I could put him on my defense. But, let me check on the Red Wings real quick. I mean, he can't just be that low. I mean, Ole Marta, he's really good. I know what he does. And I wish we had him back in our team, too. Don't get me wrong. I missed OG Penguins. Connor Sheary, Erod, Marta. So many players. The least player that I do miss, but he was actually great, Tom Kunuckle. <clears throat> he was alright, he wasn't a bad player, but uh, he just didn't score goals that much. Mm. Apparently, that must be the only Oli Moda card, because yeah... Wait. Wow. Hmm. So apparently he's he stays down here. Gosh. Didn't think he would I don't know. I don't know if any judges doesn't like him or what, but I think he should be up higher. But, that's any Joe. Oh, yeah. What I wanted to do was... Jeez. Okay. Do I want Philip Drewbauer, or do I want Cal Connor, or do I want... This dude. What's this limited time? Random player set? Mmm, you need 70. I mean, I have, a I have a lot more days to try to do that. 5 days, 15 hours, 9 minutes and 30 seconds. God, dang it, I know I want one of these, but who would I rather have? You know what, guys? Let me let me make my goaltending. I, I kind of want to do goaltending on here. And that's 15 right there, so... Apparently we have enough to do him. Yep, 15 out of 15. There we go. Yes. Now the only thing is, if I want to get Cal Connor, eighty-six and plus. Mm, let's see. There has to be somebody that I don't really prob probably need. Yeah, I kind of don't need him. But the only thing is...
sorry, pasta. If you was a higher overall, if I had you as a higher overall, maybe I'd be able to put you on. Yeah, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing, it's just doing players that I don't really need right now. Okay, this one's gonna be tricky. I like this card, but I do like Faraby, but sorry Faraby, young <laughs> sorry Faraby, but apparently something just tells me I just have to get you out. Even though I really like this card, but nah. And then we do have one more card left that we're probably gonna do. I hate to do this to this dude, but I hate giving him up. I really do. I regret it, but if I had any more 85s, probably I could do it. And I would have kept two of those players. But alright, let's go back to the inbox, shall we? So, Cal Connor, I might be able to get you. Let's just see how much we have here first. Oh, we got so much stuff in the store right now. How many playoffs were that? 17? Okay, we got enough. We got plenty enough. Go. All right. So you see why I'm why I'm doing why I'm doing this. This is exactly why. Now. We now we have all these packs now to open. Geez. Let's see. Is there gonna be anybody good in any one of these? Hopefully. one but could be better this one was at L1 Another L one. Oh, 
I know that was a crazy, crazy pack thing, but none of them were good. Alright, so exchange sets. Now, let's just say this is going to be... Oh, man. Welcome back to my team again, Cal Connor. Now we just have to do that, dude, and then we got all of those sets. So, yeah, we get those three packs for free. So it says limited one per 24 hours, five limiteds, limited 10 per hour. So, yep. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Let me see. Where would I put Cal Connor at? I want to keep Nylander in, but you know what? To make it a better team, sorry, Ov, but I'm gonna have to let you go because I mean, I know that's his X Factor, but his X Factor, jeez, I mean, that's expensive. You guys have to know about that. Put this dude right here. I mean, I like having the goats on here, don't get me wrong, but... How much you want you guys want to bet I could actually pull a better X Factor? I think Nylander plays this right wing. There he is. And I do got these guys too. Down to play for the RL later or when you're done. Oh, I'm down. I'm done to do that. Yeah, no mind. Sorry, Carter Harp, but save changes. I'm still at 80, I think I'm at 86, I think I went up, so, alright, <clears throat> oh, and yeah, another thing I have to do, I feel bad doing this to Ovi, but, I feel like I could get some more players, though, or a way better person, we will, Sorry. Sorry, Alex Ovechkin. I just had to do it to the grade 8. Alright. Completed this. Please hope I get somebody good. Please. Wait, I have to wait that long? Or is that... Oh, that's on cooldown. Okay. Right. 
just making sure because it's gonna be like, dude, there's no way. And then, all right, X Factor Choice Pack. Here we go. How me and my best buddy do it? We do it one, three, and two. Let's see who's one. Jack Hughes? Oh. Okay. Three. I already have him. Two. Okay. So give me the two huge brothers I'm taking him he's definitely a fast dude so the only thing is where would I put him at all right so I got Jack Hughes hmm that is so great Let me see how much that he's going to be. I'm not taking Matthews out. I just want to do something real quick. Save changes, but then I need to go back in and going to see what I could do with these 11,000 coins with him. Player upgrades and info. <clears throat> I'll purchase that. Look at all that stuff. So right now, this is him right now for me. Wow. Huh. I'm just gonna say... We're gonna keep it like this for now, but but I'll probably get Jack Hughes up there so both of the brothers can play. All right, guys. Well, I'll be right back. I have to go do some more quick. I'll be right back.